Hi, my name is Ilma and today I'd like to share Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 12. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. Therefore, remember that previously you, the Gentiles, in the flesh who are called uncircumcised by the so-called circumcised which is performed in the flesh by human hands. Remember that you were at that time separate from Christ, excluded from the people of Israel and strangers to the covenants of the promises, having no hope and without God in the world. Ephesians 2, 8-12 According to an article online, the gospel message is the good news of God's grace. So it is important to know what God's grace is and to constantly seek to get a better view of what grace does in our lives. Grace is an essential part of God's character. Grace is closely related to God's benevolence, love, and mercy. Grace... I'm sorry, grace can be variously defined as God's favor toward the unworthy or God's benevolence or the undeserving. In His grace, God is willing to forgive us and bless us abundantly in spite of the fact that we don't deserve to be treated so well or dealt with so generously. To fully understand grace, we need to consider who we were without Christ and who we become with Christ. We were born in sin. That's what says in Psalm 51, 5. And we were guilty of breaking God's holy laws in Romans 3, 9, 20, and 23, and in 1 John 1, 8 to 10. We were enemies of God, says Romans 5, 6, and 10, uh, and 8, and verse 7, in Colossians 1, 21. Deserving of death, that's Romans 6, 23. We were unrighteous, that's what Romans 3.10 says, and without means of justifying ourselves, in Romans 3.20. Spiritually, we were destitute, blind, unclean, and dead. Our souls were in peril of everlasting punishment. So here's my devotional. By grace alone you have been saved. Paul reminds the believers in Ephesus that they were saved by God's grace and they can never boast that they made a contribution for it or take credit for the gift of salvation. It is given to undeserving sinners. Paul reminds them of their lives before they believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. They were hopeless. When Christ gave up his life for all undeserving people like us, he changed our standing with God. We are now saved and cleansed of our sins. We can make a fresh new start with God. We have hope in the knowledge that we can be reconciled with God and will have an entirely new beginning. What gracious and generous God we have. Reflection. Why do many people miss the true meaning of grace and why do some people struggle with the concept of grace given to those who believe in Christ? I think the true meaning of grace has been tainted by the churches and the different religions and denominations because um, there, are, there are many religious denominations and religious and churches that includes works with the grace. And that is not a true gospel because the true gospel is that we are saved by grace alone and um, by faith and not by works so the concept of grace i think has been thwarted by the enemy to make it look like we can give a contribution or we can do something and add to what jesus died for us on the cross for which is totally not the true gospel because the true gospel is that 
we live under wrath of God because we are all sinners. But God solved our problem. He didn't want us to experience the wrath that He is in when He knows how sinful we are and how we choose sin. So what He did was to give His only Son so that it will replace, uh, it, it will cleanse our sins so that He will not have to punish us anymore. In other words, when we are sinful and we choose to be sinners, we're not punished. It is the consequence of what we did not do that protects us from uh, going into a dead life. So the concept of grace is that it is undeserved. You don't have to do anything for you to deserve. If God chooses you, then you are chosen. Um, and everybody is given an invitation to, to actually believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's up to you whether you are going to uh, accept that invitation or not. So, but it's by grace alone and in be believing the Lord Jesus Christ are we saved. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. God loves you so much. So remember that He is so gracious that He will uh, do everything so that you will come to Him and that you will repent of your sins and live a life for Him. God loves you.